Title, Preteen Playground Pandemonium, Acid Attack Accusations Fly High in Motor City. TL, DR, Detroit's playground seem to have swapped to dodgeball for danger, as a 12-year-old girl is accused of stepping up the playground politics a notch, or 10, by allegedly assaulting a fellow minor with acid. Court appearance and acid attacks, is this the new norm for kids these days? In Detroit, the city known for its love of horsepower, another kind of power seems to be in the play, playground power. Playground squabbles aren't new, we've all known that one kid who took King of the Castle a little too seriously. But acid attacks? Now, that's a new level of macabre. We are talking about a 12-year-old girl here, a tween, barely out of the child bracket, but the accusations she's facing would fit a hardened criminal. She's been charged with the intent to cause severe bodily harm and felonious assault. Doesn't sound like your average game of tag, does it? But how did we get here? Did we miss a few levels in the evolution of playground squabbles? Set to make a star appearance in court on Tuesday, this preteen protagonist of our story has been released on a cool $10,000 bond following a preliminary hearing. Now that's some serious pocket money. This whole thing sounds like a tale straight from a grim dystopian novel, doesn't it? If this doesn't make you question what's going on in our playgrounds, schools, and society at large, we don't know what will. How is a child, who, should be thinking about her next TikTok dance routine, instead appearing in courtrooms over grave charges? There are more questions here than answers, and we find ourselves asking, are these playgrounds or battlegrounds? What happened to those carefree games of hopscotch and freeze tag? And here's the real kicker, the big question that we all should be mulling over, what does this say about our society, where children are being accused of such violent acts? As we all ponder over this, we have to ask ourselves, how do we go back to making playgrounds a place of fun and games, and not survival of the fittest? Disclaimer, this news is based on real-life events and aims to provide factual information. Turned up news does not condone or promote violence, nor does it provide any form of advice. This news piece is intended for informative and thought-provoking purposes only. Always stay safe, folks.